journey Sikazwe has probably put Zambia as a tourist destination for the wrong reasons. In the African Cup of Nations 2022 match between Tunisia and Mali, he blew the whistle for game over in the 86th minute. We all know football is played for 90 minutes. All right, fair enough. He was alerted that he was probably too quick to go to the bathroom. He should endure. But amazingly, this referee again blew the whistle for game over in the 89th minute. The Tunisians were trailing 1-0 and so they were understandably shocked and angry. Even the Malians were dumbfounded. Who does that? Janis Sikazwe didn't care at all. He has become a legend all over the world. We are going to look at other 10 epic fails by referees in football and then you tell us where Janis Sikazwe ranks. Number 10 is Thierry Henry's handball for France versus Ireland. Now France were on the brink of not qualifying for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. The Irish were leading 1-0 and since the aggregate was 1-1, the match went into extra time. Thierry Henry gave an unforgettable assist to William Gallas to make it 2-1. The Frenchman parried the ball with his hands to enable that assist. The Swedish referee, Martin Hansen, claimed to have not seen the blatant handling of the ball. At number 9 is the 1978 World Cup in Argentina when Zico's goal was disallowed. In the second match of the group stage of the 1978 World Cup, Brazil was playing Sweden and the score was 1-1. In the 90th minute, Brazil had a corner kick and it was headed in by Zico. But strangely, the referee, Clive Thomas from Wales, disallowed the goal. In fact, he had already blown the whistle for game over when the ball was crossed into the penalty box of the Swedes. Football fans all over the world wondered why he allowed the Brazilians to take that corner kick in the first place. The decision was so controversial and very strange. Number 8 is the goalkeeper's violent attack in France versus Germany, 1982. We have the match between France and Germany in the 1982 World Cup semi-finals. A classic match by all standards, but this happened. German goalkeeper Harald Schumacher nearly murdered Patrick Battiston with this Kung Fu-like attack. The referee Charles Cover of Netherlands just awarded a goal kick to Germany. Life goes on, says the referee. At number 7, we go to Turkey. We actually have a referee who scored for a team. The pictures are a little blurry, but we can see the referee heading the ball into the net, thereby scoring for Angara Guchu. The only way to avoid such embarrassment is to not award a goal. But believe it or not, the referee awarded the goal. I guess it had been his dream to have his name registered on the score sheet all along. Number 6. Graham Paul forgot his counting. In the 2006 World Cup game between Australia and Croatia, Graham Paul of England seemed to have forgotten the rules of the game. A second yellow card is a red card offense. But strangely enough, he gave Joseph Simonich one. Two. And then the third yellow card. Either referee Graham Paul forgot the rules or he just forgot basic arithmetic. Number five, referee's revenge. In a match between FC Nance and PSG, something unbelievable happened. Diego Carlos got a second yellow card and received the matching orders. Why? For Diego Carlos, which means he's in real trouble. Through no fault of his own, the referee got in front of him and the entanglement led to a fall. Now this is where the strange issue is. The referee kicked him back in revenge for a blameless act. 
That was not enough. He gave him the matching orders. The referee taking this action personal shocked the football world. At number four, we have Australia versus Equatorial Guinea. Thierry Henry's handball does not in any way compare to this epic one. In the 2011 Women's World Cup, an Equatorial Guinea player actually became a second goalkeeper by grabbing the ball. See this. And she held it for a long time. She then threw the ball back to the goalkeeper as if nothing has happened. But it is the duty of the referee to let the world know that yes, truly something has happened. Now this is a penalty thousand times over. But Hungarian referee Jonji Gal is probably a fan of netball. She never saw anything wrong with it. At number 3, we have Robert Heuser's match fixing scandal. Now, German referee Robert Heuser was involved in a match fixing scandal. He accepted a bribe to ensure that Hamburg were knocked out in a German cup tie against Paderborn. Now, Paderborn were 2 0 down. Now, this referee decided to award two penalties, and it was laughable. He also sent the player off, and this eventually led to Hamburg defeat. The series of decisions that were taken on that day was so laughable, so shocking. At number two, we have a goal from a ball boy. Now, take a very careful look at this clip. There is no goal. But now, let's start watching the ball boy. He placed the ball in the net. And amazingly, the referee got confused. The referee headed back and then he decided to award the goal. What is amazing is that the opposition team never jubilated in the first place. As the ball played was way wide from the goalpost. This is another very bizarre decision by a referee who decided to award the goal. Despite none of the players claiming the goal. But the referee awarded it. At number one, you have Watford. Versus Reading. Referee Stuart Outwell made one of the most bizarre decisions in football. Now, the players are going on with their game. All of a sudden, a whistle is blown. The referee goes to see the linesman and a goal is awarded out of the blue. Now, the linesman said he saw the ball cross the goal line. It is still a mystery in the football world as to what the linesman saw on that day. And the referee agreeing with the linesman is even more shocking as it comes. So, we are done with the top 10 most epic fails in football by a referee. The ultimate question now is where does Jani Sikazwe, the Zambian referee who stopped a game twice before full time rank, among these epic fails in referees' decision making? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.